Today's quiz is a continuation of our last quiz where we lowered a single magnet onto three key rings. If you haven't watched that, go watch that first and come back. Today we're taking two magnets and I'm putting them north to south. And now I'm going to lower them down onto five key rings. Our question is, when they touch and I lift it back up, which of the key rings will be lifted? Here's what your quiz looks like today. I'll hold that up now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. And uh, let's go ahead and try this. I'll put these together and then I'll lower this down. It's a little tougher than it looks. You lower them down and you see that the outside are the ones that get picked up and not the inside. To help us understand that, let me draw it out. Now, we have field lines that are going to emerge from the north and go into the south. But what causes this? Well, technically, it's the electrons spinning within atoms. And if I can get several atoms next to one another, and they can align their magnetic fields, I end up having this crystal, which we say is magnetized. And we call those domains. And you can represent uh, domains as these little lines right here. And they're going to line up, and if you can get them to freeze in place, we call them a permanent magnet. You can think of each one of them as being like a south, north, south, north, south, north. And that also explains why we don't really see magnetism at the central part of a magnet. On the one side, we have our field lines coming out, and they can induce all the atoms in this piece of steel to temporarily align themselves with that field line making north-south, so they are going to be attracted. But in the central part of this magnet, you'll see that they're happy. They're essentially going to have their lines going straight through. They don't emerge out the side, and therefore we don't really get any of that magnetism in the middle of that magnet. So when I put the two magnets together, let's see how I have it, north and south here, like so, and I push them together, Essentially, I'm making one long magnet and all the domains are lined up. And again, we don't really get anything out of this central part. And I can end up picking up this key ring on the north side or the south side. But if I push them together very hard, I really just don't get any lifting action from either of these. But if I break them apart, I can very easily lift up my key ring with either side. And that lets us know, according to this domain model, that anytime you break a magnet, you're always going to end up having a north and a south again. All right, that's your quiz for today.